Are you ready to make your dreams of owning a cabin a reality? When purchasing a second home, there are various financing options available to consider. Here are some of the common options when buying a second home while already owning one. First, a traditional mortgage. This is the most common financing option for buying a second home. You can apply for a traditional mortgage through a bank, credit union, mortgage company, similar to your primary home. You'll make a down payment, pay monthly installments, and be subject to interest rates in loan terms. Second is a home equity loan. If you have built up equity in your primary home, you may be able to use a home equity loan to finance your second home. This is a type of loan that allows you to borrow against the equity you've accumulated using your primary home as collateral. It's important to consider additional debt and monthly payments involved with this option. A third option would be a cash out refinance. This is another option for refinancing your primary home and taking out a larger loan amount using the excess funds to purchase your second home. This option allows you to tap into the equity you built up in your primary home while potentially obtaining a lower interest rate on the refinance mortgage. However, it's crucial to carefully evaluate the cost and benefits associated with refinancing. Fourth, a home equity line of credit, a HELOC. It's a revolving line of credit that allows you to borrow against the equity in your primary home. It functions similarly like a credit card where you can draw funds as needed and make interest only payments during the draw period. This option provides flexibility, but it's important to understand the terms, interest rates, and the potential risks. And then of course, there's personal savings. If you have sufficient personal savings, you may choose to just use your own funds to purchase a second home. This option eliminates the need for financing and interest payments. However, it's essential to consider the impact of your overall financial situation and ensure you have enough savings for other expenses and emergencies. And then there's seller financing or like a contract for deed. In some cases, a seller may offer this financing option. This typically involves them acting as the lender, extending the loan to you, the buyer. The terms and condition are negotiable between the buyer and seller, allowing for more flexibility in the financing arrangement. And then rental income. If your second home has income generating potential, you can explore the possibility of using that rental income to offset the cost of ownership. Lenders may consider potential rental income when assessing your eligibility for the loan or determining loan terms. So when you're considering financing options for a second home, it's crucial to evaluate your financial situation, credit worthiness, and long-term goals. Consulting with a mortgage professional or financial advisor in, who specializes in real estate is critical, and they'll help you choose options that align with your objectives. And of course, we have a preferred lender here, so if you're looking for someone to talk to, please reach out to us and we can help you get on the road to obtaining your dream home or cabin.